hi hello children how are you all welcome back to my class in this class we are going to see some of the diagrams from your science textbook of class 7 so here i am going to make part 1 and part 2 in the part 1 you will get the diagrams from your first sem and the part in the part 2 you will get the diagrams of your second sem okay so let's start so here you can see you are having your first diagram that is a photosynthesis so this is a process of photosynthesis so this diagram shows the process of photosynthesis isn't it so which is there in your first lesson that is a nutrition in plants so here you can see water and minerals that is absorbed by the roots chlorophyll in leaf then oxygen which is gives out by the plant and carbon dioxide which is taken in by the plant and the light energy you can also mention it here as a uh, solar energy that will be also correct okay uh, so this is the first one diagram that is a photosynthesis okay so this is the first diagram that is photosynthesis okay so now come to the second one that is a amoeba so here the amoeba is a microscopic single celled organism okay so here you cannot see the amoeba with your naked eyes you need a microscope to see this uh, organism that's why it is a single celled microscopic organism so here we'll see the what are the parts of this amoeba so this is nucleus and this is the pseudopodium if it is a single then it is called as a pseudopodium if it is a more than one like here you can see this is one pseudopodium another pseudopodium so then we will call it as a it is a pseudopodia it means it is a pseudo means false feet okay uh, next you can see so this one is cytoplasm okay so this is a liquid like uh, material that is called the cytoplasm and here this is a cell membrane okay here you can see this is a cell membrane the outer line okay next this is a food vacuole and the food particle ingestion so that process is called the ingestion okay so this is a food vacuole understood yes now we'll come to the next diagram that is a human digestive system it is a very much important one okay so let's see here what are the parts of this uh, diagram so we'll start from the this is a buccal cavity this is salivary gland esophagus this is also known as a food pipe and this is stomach and this one this pouch like structure like a sac like structure it is called a gallbladder and this is liver and here this one is called a pancreas then this one is called the small intestine and this one is called the large intestine and this part is called the rectum and this end part is called the anus okay so these are the parts of human digestive system it is very much important okay it seems little bit difficult to draw but believe me it is not a difficult one you just need to do the practice okay just try to draw it more and more time okay it will become a very easy for you okay yes now come to the next diagram here life cycle of silk moth so this uh, diagram it is there in the lesson fiber to fabric it is also called as life history of silk moth okay so here you can see female adult silk moth okay it gives the x on mulberry leaves here you can see next so that will be that x will be get converted into uh, like uh, this one not get converted the little larvas or silkworm or the caterpillar uh, sorry caterpillar or silkworm will be come out from this eggs so here you can see silkworm it is also called as a caterpillar okay next one it will next stage is cocoon next the again silk uh, female adult silk mouth will be get out from this silk uh, cocoon and this cocoon will be later used to prepare a natural fiber that is nothing but the silk fibers okay so that you are going to study in that lesson so the last diagram of this video that is a soil profile okay if you see the uh, this one soil 
I mean the beneath the earth you will get these type of layers. So here you can see a horizon. You will get the plants. Okay, uh, there is a materials which is present here that is called the humus. So okay, so first one that is a horizon. So this is called the B horizon. This is C horizon and this is the bedrock. Okay, so this is the soil profile. These all are the diagrams you are having in the first part. Soon I will make a video on the second part which will be having a uh, like a more diagrams okay of your next lessons. So till then take care of yourself. So my little children if you have any doubt regarding these diagrams let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer. If this video is useful to you so please don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you.